It was the hardest week of my life, but the most necessary. And especially when I came home and really got to sit with my thoughts and, and realize, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Social media influencer Montana Tucker, descendant of Holocaust survivors, decided to take a trip to Poland and make a documentary about the Holocaust in order to inform and educate her viewers about the realities of the Holocaust. This is now my responsibility to educate. Do you know how many thousands of bodies are here? In excess of 400,000 bodies buried in the, in the mass graves on either side. I never really realized until maybe like after my Zadie passed away that this is now my responsibility to get out there because who's going to speak for them? In a few years, there are going to be no more Holocaust survivors left. Tucker's docuseries came at a really important time as the anti-Semitic beliefs we see in this country are at an all-time high, and her first episode dropped right in the midst of all the controversy about Kanye West's anti-Semitic statements. When you take into account that 31 states in this country don't require the educational systems within them to teach their students about the Holocaust, and when surveyed, 63% of millennials and Gen Z Americans didn't know that 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust, this way of reaching young people who are often uneducated about this topic is a fantastic way to reach them through a medium in which they are using all the time. And many people are happy that this docuseries is happening. Many people are learning about the Holocaust through this docuseries. They said they had multiple people write into the producer talking about how they barely learned about the Holocaust in school and how happy they were just to be learning about it, especially from someone whose lineage came down from the Holocaust. And make no mistake, Anti-Semitism is on a huge rise. There were almost 3,000 documented anti-Semitic incidents that happened last year, which is a 34% rise from 2020. That's a 34% jump in just one year, and it's the highest it's ever been. And it's no surprise, really, when you have rampant Holocaust denial, you have elected officials such as Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing the Holocaust to having to wear a mask on the chamber floor. It's no surprise. It, they're elected officials. People take their behaviors and their thoughts from their elected officials' behaviors. If the elected officials are exhibiting anti-Semitic views and behaviors, the people of that nation are going to reflect those things. Listen, I'm thrilled that this girl is using her massive platform in order to educate people about something that is so crucially important. I just wish that it was the leaders of our country that was doing that. I wish it was the people who are actually in charge, taking charge and educating people about something that is incredibly important and doomed to repeat itself if we don't do something about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, please like it, share it, consider subscribing to the channel. We're new here at The Breakdown and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.